Uh, good afternoon YouTube. Working on the 7x12 horizontal bandsaw again today. Got a couple of problems here with the movable jaw on the saw vise here. One is this is the clamp bolt that can hold the jaw at a particular angle and if you see here I can just spin that thing around the threads in the moving part down there there's threads into that cast iron piece and they are pretty much stripped out so I need to pull that out and put in a helicoil and then the other problem is if I get over here on the vise sometimes it it locks and sometimes it just spins so I think the half threads in there are a little plugged up with debris. Okay, so just broke that one loose. We'll get this bolt out of here. That's the pivot bolt. Luckily, these are both uh, 3 8 coarse thread. And that just happens to be the size helicoil kit I have. So that's my plan, is I'll just put a helicoil down in there. I think I'll clean this bolt up a little bit. This one is nice and clean. The threads aren't stripped but they're stripped down in the cast iron part there. I think that should, should be able to slide that out under here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's the half nut, and you can see, if we look in there, you can see how all those threads are just packed. Okay, so for these, what I use is a little right angle pick here, and you can see I can just go down the thread like that and scrape out all the crud that builds up in there. Get that all nice and clean. Just go down each thread there and yeah, you can see all that crud that builds up in there. Just metal shavings and plastic and aluminum and grease and oil, cutting fluid. <laughs> I don't know what all's in there. But yeah, every few years you got to clean these things out here. Yeah, my little push button is still working there. That's free. Work on that a little bit, and then right here, there's the one that's stripped out. That one's still pretty good, although I guess while I'm putting in helicoils, I might as well do both of them. So I've got the cast iron piece here chucked up in the vise on the mill. I think I'm centered up on that hole, so we'll just drill down. This is just the uh, pilot drill for the tap that goes with the helicoil. <laughs> And the, those holes go all the way through. They're not a blind hole, so I, I figured I'd just drill it all the way down. It's my helicoil kit. I'll probably try to do one of the longer inserts, get the most thread in there that I can. So next thing is we need to run the helicoil tap in there. So, okay, here we go. I think since the hole already has threads in it, it probably will tap pretty easy. You're just basically cutting the threads a little deeper. <laughs> Get that out of there, there. And there we go. Got the nice new threads cut in there. Okay, there we've got a helicoil onto the mandrel here. And let's get my smaller wrench on there. Tap wrench. And just wind her down. I think that should stay in there. I guess that hits the bottom. I just want to see how far I need to screw that in there because this might be enough. Let's see if that'll see if that'll tighten up in there. Oh yeah, That's, I don't think I have to do anything in there because there's enough thickness in here. I'll just leave it like that. So all we have to do is insert the helicoil on the other side there. But yeah, I think that's good. Okay, yeah, we got that all cleaned out there. Inside, got all the threads brushed out as good as I can. There we go. And then the pin, or the little spring-loaded pin, is in the back. And then it goes down like that, so you, you have to hold that all together and get underneath and then slide the rod in there. Yeah, and then the other 
thing I gotta do is tighten up this lock screw. I, I had to replace this at one time because the hole in there stripped out, so I re-threaded it for a quarter inch coarse thread bolt. And that, that seems to grab pretty well. I think there was a set screw in there and it, it stripped out. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Usually give it a give that a shot of oil too. I'm trying to cut a little bit off of a piece of metal here, and it just wouldn't grab the the sides very well. I had a spacer in the back. So I was running into a problem when I started put the saw blade down to start cutting that. It was pivoting on the front here, and then the back would lift up. But now I've got the back held down pretty good. But anyway, yeah, if anyone has any questions about that, post up in the comment section down below, and I'll put the earlier half nut video on the uh, left side there. You can check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.